Hey, welcome everyone. Mr. Hatman here with a video in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Thanks for watching. So in this video, we're going to talk about the sniper rifle. You want to use the sniper rifle in the right way. And the sniper rifle, the first key is to find a good vantage point. You want to find a high location across from the base that you're going to assault move into a prone position and start surveying the area. I immediately go in and I start looking and see if I can tag other snipers that would kill me very quickly as soon as I take them out. So I'm going to take out this sniper with one shot and he's down. Now there's another sniper right below me I believe but I sometimes just check out to make sure that nothing was aggravated by my one sniping attempt. The analogy here to Facebook is focusing on that first sale, that initial sale or that initial success that you get from your ads. So you take out one, two, three. Now I'm not going to alert the drone, but there's a rocket soldier right there. So I have just now created three quick successes. So I'm going to continue to survey the land and this time I've moved a little bit closer and there I notice that there's another enemy up there. But I'm checking to see if perhaps I take out that one and alert the drone below. So I think that what I'm going to do is move up for a closer look and I'm going to switch to my assault rifle. And this is an example of, in a Facebook campaign, you've got your first three sales or your first three leads or whatever your objective is. Now you're going to go back and review your campaign and figure out exactly what needs to be done in order to start scaling. Now there's probably about 20 or 30 enemies inside the base. And in a given campaign, this would be an analogy that there's 20 or 30 sales to be made from a given ad set or an ad group or an audience. And so what we want to do is identify what are the key indicators that's going to cause them to do it. We want to do it strategically. We want to plan it out. We want to make sure that as we approach the base, we're highlighting and getting a survey of the land that they haven't spotted them in a crouched position uh, on the mini-map, I can see very clearly the enemies where they are, and I want to make sure that I do not cause them to notice my position. So it's time to start taking out the enemies. We're going to do it systematically. We'll take out one and then the other one very quickly before he can alert the others via radio. most likely going to be someone inside the building, so i got to make sure that I approach the building from the right place, the right angle. So we're going to go up the stairs and see if anyone's upstairs. Keep in mind I'm also keeping my eyes on the mini-map, just rotating for any red areas, potential people that could be alerted to my position. Now there's a drone outside. I can hear that by the sound of the drone. I need to crouch to make sure I don't cause the drone to notice me. See, now that means I stood up and the drone noticed me. So if a known drone catches you, it'll turn from the white condition to a yellow condition, which means it spotted something, but it hasn't quite identified it yet. If the drone is actually Just scanning the horizon for additional. There's two or three more over there. We'll get to them later. I've got to assess the situation. If I take out that drone, how many people will be alerted to my position? So the analogy on Facebook is that you want to start working on split testing your ads so that you can see which is going to be the best performing ad and give you the most money. In general, we want to start focusing on our gear. 
Now I just picked up a stoner, which is a weapon. You always want to max out your gear as much. Max level reach. As is an analogy of using the right tools for the right job. So we're going to go back in here. We're going to start to clear out the base. Now if it's a dark area, you want to use tools like your infrared night vision goggles. Hide behind cover and make sure that you take out your enemies. Especially on the elite levels, they can burn through you very quickly. And so you got to make sure that no shots even graze you. There's also the thermal mode, which you can use. Although it's not really necessary in this case. Now I notice there's three enemies. They haven't spotted me yet. I need to take them out very quickly prior to them alerting the rest of the camp. So we took care of that quite quickly. And now our mini-map and our indicators, because we spotted the enemies, are showing that they're still in a alert state, but they're not red. So we haven't really been spotted. They don't know where we are. They just know something is going on. So we have to strategically figure out when's the right time to take out the drone and what tool will we use for it. I'm equipping the EMP grenade. Once again, we're using the right tools for the right job. That's the EMP grenade. We're going to set up the EMP grenade Mark III. So I'm gonna, literally going to walk up to that drone and drop a grenade on it. What that's going to do is it's going to now allow me to approach the drone and start to take shots at him. Now the first string aid for some reason didn't go off, it misfired, so I have to fire another one. So there we go, it's now been disabled. Now, I'm using my machine gun, and you can see it takes down their armor a little bit faster than using an assault rifle. So we've now taken him off. So we've now fully alerted the entire base, so I have to move quickly and proceed to take out all the enemies in the base. The analogy to Facebook ads is that you want to be running your campaigns in full bore tilt. Once you have a successful campaign running, put all your money behind that and take out as much sales as you can from your given audience within a given time frame. Now here's an elite enemy. They're the hardest ones to take care of. As you notice, my indicator says my armor is depleted. I should fall back. A good headshot with the assault rifle is good. You want to switch back and forth between your primary and secondary weapons pretty quickly. So I know we're doing a lot of gameplay here, but it's very important I need to get the analogy that I'm trying to draw here between Ghost Recon and running Facebook campaigns. Why I feel it's such an important game that you understand these tactics and these strategies, they can be applied. It's really a mindset. It's really a mindset. And the game actually helps you start thinking strategically. Whereas a lot of times, you know, people just go like in the beginning. Assault. Now here's the thing is we just picked up a brand new weapon. It's a 252, which is the highest gear score. That was our objective for clearing out this elite base. You want to equip your gear. If it's better than what you're currently having, do it immediately. Don't wait until the mission's over. Uh, we're going to equip, again, max up our levels. We're going to equip a range finder. And I'm going to put a grenade launcher on this to see if perhaps we can take out that other drone that's over by the helicopter. And I always like to equip the right colors so I can do this. The analogy here to Facebook ads is you want to name your campaigns because you want to go back through and make sure that the campaigns you're running are the right color or the right style, the right texture. Your creatives are in the right way. So now that we've got our gear, we can proceed with assaulting the rest of the base. Now there is a rocket launcher over there I probably can take that out. Let's see if I do. Wow, this is a great new weapon I just picked up. It does a lot of damage, and I can do it quite effectively. So I'm again looking at see what's remaining. Because remember, the assignment here is to take out all the enemies in the base 
and the analogy on Facebook ads is to maximize the number of sales you can achieve within a given ad set. Make a lot of people stop their ad sets way too soon. And you want to think of the entire campaign as a whole. Just like you have 30 enemies in a base, you might have 30 sales that could be extracted from an ad set. You want to make sure you maximize that before go, going and create another ad set. So here I'm just going to run around the base a little bit, constantly being aware of where the targets are. They're inside this building. So I'm equipping a silencer. He sees me, but I take him out before he has the op option. Switch to nice vision goggles. Now this is the server room. The server room is where the, uh, the technology is being held. I've got to take him out very quickly. And once again, I'm using my brand new assault rifle. It's time to take out this last drone. Now I'm going to just set up a grenade and fire the grenade at him. And I'm going to use my rocket launcher attachment on my weapon. And you see I'm firing rocket launchers at him. They're not really doing as much damage as I was hoping for. So I need to very quickly switch to my assault rifle uh, before he gets wind of, you know, takes out. I'm going to throw another EMP grenade. We're going to switch to the assault rifle to take out the drone. And the assault rifle is really the best weapon for taking out drones. We take out the final enemy up on the hill and mission complete. So that is how the proper way to take out a base. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share it if you got some value from it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really, really appreciate it. And remember, if you're ever diving out of a helicopter, make sure you have your hat on. This is Mr. Hatman signing off and I'll see you in the next video. May your base assaults go as smoothly as mine. Bye for now.